Okay, so here I am. What do you think of my hat? Well, this is today's finished object, or one of them. This is not anything that I got done this week. I didn't get anything finished this week. So, I'm going to have less finished objects per week than probably anybody else you're watching. <laughs> Anywho, I made this hat probably um, the winter before last, and I absolutely love it. I had a cow that matched it, but I ended up giving it as a gift. Um, and I intended to make another cow, but I never did. So I think I will do that. When I saw this hat, I thought, oh, this is such a perfect hat. I love it. This is my own design. I was practicing stitches. It was my first in the round project. So I was practicing stitches. And I got like a puff stitch. I think I started like with a double crochet. Or no, wait, it's not double crochet, is it? Yes, these are double crochets. And then I do a triple crochet, like right there. Um, like right there. And then there's a poof stitch. And I made a little flower. This is a... I'm trying to figure out if it's a crochet flower or a knitted flower. This is a crochet flower. So this is my first crochet flower. I have not made another one. But this is my first and only so far crochet flower. And I love this hat. I just do. It's made of Super Saver yarn in a in teal. And it I have all this hair, so it works really well. It's kind of floppy-ish. The shape of the hat took, you know, it just became, the shape kind of made itself. I didn't plan the shape, you know, so look, it's kind of got a weird mushroomy shape, but I just kind of smoothed everything out. Go like that. Every now and then I'll try and, I'll not try, but every now and then I'll, I like wear it like that, kind of like a beret, but I kind of like it back like this. But anyway, that's my hat. Okay, so we'll move on from the hat and we'll talk about the uh, blanket that I'm crocheting and I'll show you my progress. That is a lot, that is a lot. <laughs> so I can't remember which ones I finished last week, but I did finish some squares last week. I don't remember which ones they were because uh, I've kind of I kind of laid them out and tried to see what kind of, um, how I wanted to lay them out in the blanket. So I don't remember which ones I finished, but I did finish, I believe, two. So I'm probably going to be tw finished between two and four a week. That's the goal. And then the dish, or the washcloth I told you about last week, this is wonky. This pattern is written poorly. Uh, or it's not missing, written poorly, it's just written wrong. Um, the person, I don't believe, um, used... I think the person probably knit the dish or the washcloth first and then after they really liked it they're like oh, okay I'm gonna write a pattern but it seems that they forgot a row um, in their pattern and because of it it's it's kind of going wonky and I've knit this twice now and with the same results and I'm following the pattern exactly as written um, and then I realized that other washcloth that I had done let me go get it so the other washcloth that I had done I didn't I didn't use that pattern that I'm looking for that I'm using now I don't know what pattern I used um, but I know I did follow a pattern this one um, has an extra row that kind of evens things out and it, it is a square right now it's all pulled to, to hell um, but it is a square and it, and it lays flat and it, and it is lovely and I like it and I thought that these that this dishcloth or washcloth was um, knitted with the pattern that I'm using now but it isn't um, I have no idea what happened to the to that pattern. I'll have to find it. And when I do, I will post it. But I'm not posting the pattern that I'm using right now because it's not right. And I don't like this. Um, you know, I committed to it, right? <laughs> you know, I'm going to finish it. And then we'll see really what it looks like off the needles. But to me, this, this is happening naturally. This is happening um, because of the pattern. Um, and I just don't know. I just don't know why. So we'll see how that looks next week. I should have that finished. I should have the finished objects next week. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. This is another finished project that I did probably about a year ago, maybe longer. I should do the wrong side first. So here's the right side. 
Isn't this gorgeous? This is short rows. Have you ever done short rows? I know a lot of people say, oh, I hate short rows. This is a, this is a black yarn. You know how hard it is? You know how hard it is to knit with black? It's impossible not to drop a stitch, but I didn't drop any stitches. Um, and this is what the project looks like after it's been washed. So I've washed this and I've used this. I've used this dishcloth. I use it as a dishcloth. So a lot of people are like, oh wow, you know, you knit these pretty things. Do you use them? Yes, I do. I do use them. And uh, so I had to weave in that. I didn't. This was before I knew about weaving. This is just a knot. Like, tie your shoe kind of knot. It's not even a knitting knot. It's just close the project. Let's move on. I was very happy to finish this. Super thrilled. And um, yeah, I love this. If you like it, let me know. I will hunt down the pattern for you because I think I have this on Ravelry and the pattern's obviously linked in the Ravelry account. Ravelry. It's so hard to say that word. Okay, so I have a big basket of unfinished projects and this isn't even half the unfinished projects that I have. I start a lot of projects. So, blue heron yarn here. Everybody loves blue heron yarn. Famous yarn, right? So I had to buy some too. It is Sunseeker. That's what it's called. And this is uh, such a gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a shawl. This is a shawl. And I really want to wear it. And it's going to be huge. It is going to be huge. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Look how pretty that is. It's super simple to do. Easy as pie is the name of the pattern. So go on Ravelry, look up Easy as Pie Shawl, and look, look at that. It's just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the Lion Brand Triangle Shawl, which I have one of those started too, but I can't find it. I actually lost a project. Have you ever lost a project? I, it's obviously got to be on the, in the house somewhere, and it's on needles, so I hope I find it. This yarn is so delicious and it's got speckles. Did you see the iridescent? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see the iridescent, but it's like a teal, which goes so nicely with the, sh with the silver yarn. So I can't wait. This is the shawl I'm going to bring on my first cruise. I've never been on a cruise before, but you know how you have to have like a formal night? This is the shawl that I'm bringing. So I have to get this finished. Because that will be when I have to order my tickets, right? <laughs> I'll finish it tomorrow. No, I won't finish it tomorrow. Okay. I said unfinished projects, but you're going to laugh. This is a finished project, right? No, it's not. It is not a finished project. This is half a project because what? I need another glove. This fits perfectly, by the way. This fits absolutely perfect. But you know what? I have no more of this yarn. I have no idea what happened to the ball of yarn. It's gone. There's no more. And here's a really weird part, is that I have this mitten knit to about here, the other one, and it's gone. I have no idea what I did with it. So I have an orphan, <laughs> I have an orphan mitten, the, mitten. So let me show you the details. Look at what I did. Look at that. I am so impressed with that thumb. You just don't know. I am so impressed with that thumb. And look at that. It's just freaking perfect. Look at the seam work. Yeah, I don't think this is knit in the round. I believe this was knit flat. See, it's been so long since I finished this project. I'm pretty sure this was knit flat. I think it was knit flat. I don't know, but I'm gonna turn it inside out so we can look at the finishing work. And I suck at finishing. Well, I did. But look, oh, oh, oh. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm looking at this going, I did this? I I knit this? I did. I did. Look at this. And the finishing work. I didn't, you know, it's in the inside. Nobody cares. You know, it's just little loose ends. Nobody cares about that. Here's that seam work I did there. Look at that. Just, ugh. The ribbing. So perfect. Love this. I love this. I have no idea if I would be able to even recreate the perfection that is this glove, or not glove, mitten. I don't know if I can, because I don't even know where the pattern is. 
Um, but man, I tell you what, I am proud of this. I am proud of this. So I guess what I'll do is I'll knit another one in another yarn. I don't even know the name brand of this yarn. I don't know the color of this yarn. Um, what I probably should do is take this glove into the store with me. Or this mitten. I keep saying glove. It's mitten. Um, into the store with me and just try and match the yarn. But I don't think I will. I just don't think. I just don't think. It's it's it's, it's never going to match. It just won't. Because you know how that goes. You have to have the same dye lot. Uh, but anyway. Awesome unfinished project that I will someday finish. And it's obviously for me because it fits me perfectly. So, abandoned project. I didn't want to show you abandoned. See, these are works in progress. I will finish them. This is not a work in progress. I will not finish this. I started this a couple of months back on a US size 11s. And it's too, in my opinion, this isn't wide enough. I want it wider. I want it wide. So, this isn't the project for this. I have to increase the stitches. Um, the cast on, I have to cast on more um, in order to make it as wide as I want it. But the pattern is really easy. I appreciated it and I will share that pattern when I'm finished or if you ask for it. So that's it. That's all. Um, I am wearing a knitting project that's not mine. A gift. It's purse shoes or purse slippers. I think they're called. So you can uh, Google purse slippers or something like that. Or not Google, use Ravelry, because Google, Lord knows what you'll find. But you slip them on your feet, and they're adorable. And I'll take a picture of them so you can see that later. That's it. That's all I've done. What have you worked on? Oh, oh, look at my shirt. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. It's adorable. It's so cute. It's so adorable. And when I wear it, I always feel like I'm wearing something that's part of the cool co club. Yeah, like I look super cool in my hat. But anywho, I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. And please share in the comments below what you're working on. Thank you. Take care. Bye.